What's up guys, we are back at it again with another video on how to earn some more magic internet monies. In this one, we are gonna be doing something that you've probably been seeing in your timeline. We're gonna be setting up the ETC MC node to get paid out in some ETC POW. So let's jump into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's check it out. You've been seeing it all over the place. Massive uh, profitability out of this node setup that everyone's doing here. So basically, we got their website here. They got a little DAO, obviously, ETC POW token um, that they're paying out in and the node set up here. Um, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, help decentralize the Ethereum Classic network. Introducing Ethereum Classic plug and play node, the perfect solution for running a full node or fast node with ease. The compact device comes pre configured with the perfect specs for seamless and reliable performance. So there you go. Basically, this thing is just essentially, I mean, you can see here it's a in the background, it's a little mini. PC basically pretty cool. They're selling these bad boys of $430 gets you the little PC and all that stuff. Um, they do have, if you go over to their store, they have some options here. Um, you know, they have the plug and play node, full setup monitor, mini keyboard, all that stuff, banners, gear, merch, whatever you want to call it. And then the digital download lifetime in case you already have your own, uh, PC setup or mini PC, whatever, and you want to fund that and get that yourself. But basically, it's a super simple setup. Um, you don't need anything special if you're going to build out your own here. You can, you can see if you click on the license page, you got um, digital download license. It's $249. Your requirements are right here. Either needs Windows 10 or 11, four cores and four threads on the CPU, 256 gigabyte SSD, and at least eight gigabytes of RAM when 16 gigabytes is optimal. So there you go. It's very minimal. You could get those little small form PCs on Amazon for like, you know, 80 to 120 bucks or something like that. And then you're basically good to go at that point. You could set it up probably super stable, nothing going on. Um, in our case, we are going to be running a old PC that we had laying around that we're not basically using. So we're just going to use that as our, you know, node and set up and basically set this thing up, you know, and get it going. So stick with us. We're going to run through all that, show you how to do that. It's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, kind of intimidating because you are spending $250 on that license. So you don't want to screw it up. So some people may be a little freaked out and so on, but that's what these videos are for. And yeah, so stick with us and we'll jump into it and run through every step that we did and get you guys going. All right, guys, so this is one of the first steps. You're going to want to download MetaMask if you don't have it already because that's where they're going to be sending your ETC POW to. Um, I guess it only communicates with MetaMask for whatever reason, so make sure you get that downloaded, and then we'll show you. We're going to uh, insert the ETC chain and get that going, so stick with us here. All right, guys, once you have it downloaded, you can download the little Google Chrome extension. If you're using Google Chrome, that's what we're going to open up right here. So we'll pull it open. Here's the Matic chain here. Yours may pull up Ethereum. It's all the same. So um, you're going to want to add ETC chain to your um, network here as a network, new network. We already got Ethereum Classic, but if you wanted to add it, you were just going to go add network. It's going to bring you over to metamask site here to add it you're not going to be able to search and find it you know you punch it in nothing comes up so you're going to want to manually do it go to add it in network manually and you're going to input network name rpc url chain id currency symbol and you can put blocks explorer but we didn't it's optional so i'll leave all that down in the description for you so you can just copy and paste it in there and you'll be all good to go once you have um the new chain added you, you know you can go over to it and then 
you're going to want to add etc pow because you're not going to have it we already have it here but same concept to import that just import tokens you're going to put the contract address here token symbol and token decimal amount um, we'll leave those three items as well in the description so you can copy and paste and add it and then just click next and it'll add it straight to here and then you should be all good to go on those two parts there and now you'll just want to transfer over your etc and then convert it over to etc pow which will show you our swapping mechanism that we use for that here in a second all right so we're on hebe swap here you're just going to connect wallet metamask it's going to initialize your chrome extension should pop up and you're going to sign a few things you can't see mine currently right now but once you do that it'll be all connected and you're going to be good to go you got etc there you can select tokens from the bottom here so we're going to swap max etc over to etc pow and then you can see everything here um, show your fees and all that stuff just click swap here confirm swap fees there all that good stuff and then once again sign some stuff on metamask and then you'll be good to go and now just wait for this to submit and there you go submitted it'll take another few minutes for it to confirm with the blockchain and actually you know fully go through you'll see a little notification on the right side so we'll wait for that and there it is so you're all ready you got etc pow over so you're all set all right, so now we're going to go over here and purchase our actual license. Now that we have the ETC POW in our MetaMask, we're going to go and click on purchase on the ETC POW store. Purchase on the e and we're going to go purchase on the ETC POW store. That pulls us over here. Just stating some stuff that this is a download do not use Brave Bowser or mobile. Use it on your PC here. So once you you know get that all sorted out, you're gonna go over to purchase with ETC Pal. And don't forget the specs you need on the PC. You need at least Windows 10 or 11, four cores and four thread CPU, a minimum of 256 gigabytes on the SSD, and at least eight gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes is optimal. So keep that in mind. All right, so now we'll go over and purchase with ETC POW, and then it's going to pull up your MetaMask. And we have the extension here, so obviously you can't see nothing. You're just going to sign a few things, and then once you do that, you'll get this processing transaction. So just wait for that to confirm. It takes a few minutes. And there we go. Success. So we have got our license here. Just press OK. And now download software here you will be emailed a copy of this once you input your name here so go ahead and enter your username and your email and click continue and there's the file you need there you can download it now and transfer it over to the new PC or you can use your email they will send it over to your email so keep that in mind all right, so we're going to jump on over to the new PC. We're going to get that ETC MC node all downloaded and set up. So stick with us and we'll show you that process. All right, we're over on the new PC. We got this download pulled up. We're going to download it. It's going to go straight over to our downloads here. So go ahead and open that file up and go ahead and run that setup file. We are going to go to more info here and then click run anyway. figure out the directory you want to put it in and then go ahead and press next next again install wait for it here shouldn't take too long and there we go and finish and now we'll go right over to the desktop and there it is right there click on that guy and we're going to go over to Git Client, press OK. And there's our dashboard. 
hit OK one more time, you're going to want to run up to the left here and click register. And this is where you're going to enter your username and email that you put in after you bought your license. Make sure that's exactly the same. Your ETC wallet address down below here, that's going to be the wallet address from your MetaMask. Make sure it's from your MetaMask. We copy and paste that right there and we're good to go. Click submit. First time we did this, it did air out. Looks like it's working now. So we just restarted the node and it was good. There we go. So exit out of that and now you are free. Go ahead and click mine ETC pal and allow access there. And you're good to go. Now at this point, you're gonna be trying to find some peers. And basically these peers are other nodes on the network. You're basically trying to sync with these guys to fill in all the blinks, right? Get all the blockchain data from those other nodes and sync up. Once this is done, you will start earning some ETC pal. You won't be earning anything in the beginning. So keep that in mind. This uh, could take anywhere from, you know, a few hours to a couple days. I've heard various things on this. For me, it took about, what was it? I think 12 hours or so before it started and finally got all connected up and I started earning. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna vary across the board. You know, everyone's gonna be different. So don't panic, don't shut it down. Just let it run, do its thing, you know, and don't worry about it, let it go. Once that's all good to go, once you start earning in the top right, as you can see here, you will see your ETC pal balance there. Once that gets to 100, you can withdraw over to your wallet address that you inputted. So that's basically it. The only thing I did not show here was um, I put on a Windows um, update blocker on here just to keep everything stable. That way I don't want any updates popping up and, you know, shutting down the node or anything like that. Some people have said these things are pretty unstable. Um, Mine has been pretty good so far. I haven't noticed anything. It's been dead solid, never shut down. So we've been running for about a week now. So i um, not sure what other people are experiencing. Um, this PC is pretty much blank. We've never used it for anything else. Um, it was kind of a fresh build out of some used stuff laying around. So fresh windows on there and all that stuff. Um, so we don't have anything else to disrupt it, I guess. Maybe that's the pr other people's problems, I don't know. You don't have to use a full-size PC like we did. You can get some little mini PCs off of Amazon. I'll throw a link down in the bio. You can check that out. Um, Maybe worth it. They're fairly cheap, 110 bucks or so. I can't remember, something like that, which isn't bad at all. Has, um, you know, all the minimum specs you need out of that guy. But like I said, we had that PC laying around, so we just gave that a go. But I hope this was useful to you guys. Um, It's pretty cool. Um, You're earning a decent amount. It, it's varying depending on the, in the ETC pal price, right? Um, but there's not many miners out there that you can buy that make that kind of money, you know, for so cheap. That license was 250 bucks. There should be a pretty quick ROI on it, you know, especially in the, you know, market, the way the market is right now. We should see a lot of stuff, you know, continue to go up. There will be some corrections here shortly, but overall, things will go up and like I said you know it's earning a pretty decent amount for how cheap the investment is to get into this one so um, you know do your own research figure out this is something good for you and all that stuff but it was a good idea for me give it a shot and let's see what happens so we'll check back in with profits and so on in the future but hopefully that was helpful for you guys and we'll catch you on the next one peace yeah.